Vietnam which has a 1100 km long border with China. However, has only reported 268 infections and no fatalities since the outbreak began in January. Even if we consider these numbers with a dose of caution, one thing is clear, Vietnam has done a good job thus far in fighting the coronavirus. During the Tet New Year celebration at the end of the January, Vietnam's government said it was declaring war on the coronavirus, although the outbreak at that time was still confined to China. However, this fight will depend on a lot of government funding and a stored public health system, which are two things that Vietnam lacks. Vietnam does not have the capacity to undertake South Korea style fight against coronavirus, which has so far involved carrying out 350,000 tests. The country's medical system is also limited. Naguyen Thanapong, the mayor of Ho Chi Minh City, a metropolis of 8 million people, said that the city's hospital have a total of 900 incentive care beds. An epidemic in city would easily overwhelm this capacity. To take the fight to coronavirus, Vietnam instituted rigorous quarantine policies and carried out complete tracing of all people who came in contact with the virus. These measures were implemented much earlier in the course of epidemic than in China, where lockdowns of entire cities were used as a last resource to keep the virus from spreading further. For example, in 12th of February, Vietnam put an entire town of 10,000 near Hanoi under quarantine for three weeks. At this time, there were only 10 confirmed COVID-19 cases in the entire country. Authorities also widely and meticulously documented anyone who potentially came in contact with the virus. Security officials or community parties, spies can be found on every street and crossing in every neighborhood and in every village. The military is also deploying soldiers and material in the fight against coronavirus. This close surveillance largely keeps anyone from the slipping through the net or evading regulations. And also, state-controlled media have also launched a massive information campaign. The health ministry even sponsored a song on YouTube about proper hand washing that has gone viral. Vietnam is also applying a kind of war rhetoric in its fight against coronavirus. The Premier has said every business, every citizen, every residential area must be a fortress to prevent the epidemic. This has hit a nerve with many Vietnamese who are proud of their ability to stand together in a crisis and endure hardships. The projected economic cost which will hit Vietnam hard despite the low case numbers have also been widely accepted by the population. According to the government figures, 3,000 businesses have closed in the first two months of 2020. Big conglomerates like Wind Group have shuttered dozens of hotels and resorts due to the drop in tourism, 
costing employees their jobs. To ease the burden, Vietnam's government has made $1.1 billion available to pump up liquidity into the economy. However, finance officials expect that tax revenues will dry up because of the crisis. The government is also calling for voluntary donations and people are giving what they can because they believe in their government during this crisis and in the fight against coronavirus. Guys, if you like to this video, please press the like button and don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel Edu Nations and please press the bell icon to get more videos. Thank you.